Hello, welcome back. In this tutorial, let me develop a program that's going to check whether a string is palindrome or not. Now, in case if you do not know what is a palindrome, uh, let me tell you that a palindrome is a word or phrase or sentence that is same in either direction. That means if you go on reading the word or string in the forward direction, it is same as when you read that in the backward direction. For example, madam is a palindrome that A, B, C, C, B, A is a palindrome and interestingly, a man, a plan, a canal, Panama is also a palindrome. So our program is going to ask the user for a string and when the user submits the string to the program, it's going to test whether that string given by the user is palindrome or not. If it is palindrome, then we need to print back into the console, yes, the given string is palindrome. Otherwise, if it is not, we need to print no, it is not. So let me first explain the logic, uh, how we can decide whether a string is palindrome or not, and then I will develop the program in front of you step by step. So here we go. Now for madam, as you can see, or for modem, madam is a palindrome and modem is not. So how to decide whether a string is palindrome or not? It's pretty simple actually. Now we are going to compare the first character of the string with that of the last character. If the match, if the first character matches the last character, then we are going to move to the second and second last. So we are going to take two index variables, i and j, and we'll place i to the first character of the string, that means at index zero, and j at the end of the string, that means at the index where the last character is there. And we can find that just by subtracting one from the string length. You can see that the string length of madam is five, so the string length minus one, that's the index of the last character. And we are going to place J there at the last index. Now we are going to compare that M at index I with that character at index J. If the matches, we are going to increase I to the next character. We'll do I plus plus to move I to index one. And of course, we are going to do J minus minus to move J to the immediate previous character. And again, we are going to compare the character at index i with, with the character at index j. And if they match, we are going to do the same thing. So we are going to iterate in a loop. And if i and j both comes to the same index or if i crosses j, then obviously we can conclude that the string is indeed a palindrome. Otherwise, if we find a mismatch in this process, you are going to stop and you are going to say that it's not a palindrome. For example, take this modem. So here, we are going to place that i at index zero and that j at index four, and we are going to compare that character at index zero, at index i with that of index j, and they match. So we are going to move here. We are going to move i to index one and j to index three. Now here, we find a mismatch. O doesn't equal to E. We are going to stop iterating in the loop and we are going to break the loop and we are going to come out. Now, if we break the loop, that means obviously we found something wrong, some mismatch there. In that case, you see that i is less than j. i is not crossing j or i is not equals j. So in that case, we are going to test if i is less than j, that means we broke the loop, so it's not a palindrome. If i is equals with j, like this one, like the case of madam, or I may cross J for this one, A, B, C, C, B, A. So in that case, we are going to decide that it's a palindrome. If I crosses J, that means if I is greater than equals J at the end of the loop, then it's a palindrome. Otherwise, if I is less than J, we stopped the comparison because we found something mismatch there uh, between the characters at index I and J, so it's not a palindrome. So that's the logic. Now, one more thing that we need to take care when we have spaces in the sentence. So here, you see that there are spaces. So when you have I here, then you have a space here and you have M here. So they're going to be mismatch. But what we are going to do here, we are going to skip the spaces. Okay, whenever index I falls in a space, we are going to skip that. And whenever index J also have a space there, we are going to skip that as well. We are going to move J backward. We'll be actually running a loop uh, there in order to skip the spaces. There can be any number of spaces and we'll take care of that once I complete developing the primary logic without the spaces. So let's go ahead and start writing the code. 
Okay, first of all, we need to declare a scanner object in order to read the input from the keyboard. And here we go. I'll name this as input and we need to provide the system.in as source because that's the constant reference to the keyboard, that's system.in. So this scanner is going to read from keyboard and I have discussed about all these things in a previous tutorial. If you are not conversant about this scanner class and how that works in order to read the input, you may find the tutorial in the playlist and can go through that. Now we need to prompt the user to input a string and I'm using system.out.print for that enter a string and here we need to read that string so I'm declaring a string reference str and then we are using that scanner object input and next line that's going to read entire line submitted by the user so we have that string there in the str string object reference and now we are all set to test whether that str is a palindrome or not so here I'm declaring two index variables i and j we need to initialize i at zero and j to the last index that is str dot length minus one now str dot length as you know it's going to return the length or the size of the string so the index of the last character is the length minus one because the index of the first character is zero now we need to iterate as long as that i is less than j once that i is equals with j or i crosses j that means when the i is greater than equals j it's a palindrome indeed that i have explained in the logic earlier here we need to test whether that character at i is a match with that character at j and for that in order to get a character at a particular index we can use the char at method so str dot char at and i that's going to return us the character at index i and we need to check whether that equals with the char at j if the equals then we need to move i to the next that means i plus plus and we need to move j to the previous j minus minus otherwise if there is a mismatch we just break the loop because we found something wrong there some mismatch there and that's not a palindrome now when we come out of the loop we need to test if i crosses j or i equals with j that means if, whether i is greater than equals j or not if that is so then system.out.println indeed this is a palindrome so you can just print str is a palindrome otherwise if i is less than j then of course str is not a palindrome and that's it but we have not incorporated the spaces in the string there i'll do that once this logic works perfect then we can just have it modified in order to incorporate those spaces in the string so let's first check up to this I'm running this program and here we go it's asking for the string so i'm giving madam so it's saying exactly what we expected madam is a palindrome and now i will run it once more modem so modem is not a palindrome so it's working fine now we need to incorporate the spaces so here inside of the loop if the ith index contains a space then we need to skip that and there can be many spaces so it will be good if we can write a while loop there so str dot caret i if that is a space then i plus plus now you must have noticed that i have used single quote there because it's a single character that char at i is going to return a single character at index i and since that is a single character so we need to use single quote in java to represent a single character so that's why i have used that single single quotes there now double quotes typically represent a string object in java that means a set of characters so when you are using single quote in order to represent a character constant it's typically a single character okay now if the jth index is also a space then we need to move j to the previous index so j minus minus now it's going to work with a string like this having spaces in between so let me give a 
man, I'm giving many spaces, a plan, a canal, Panama. And you see that it is saying this is a palindrome. So working perfect. Okay, so that is how you can use the caret method of the string class in order to get a character at a particular position. And we have used that in order to test whether a given string is a palindrome or not. So I want you to write this program exactly now. And that will help you to master over Java syntax uh, quickly. So go ahead and write this program and have fun. Thank you for watching this.